Menu Command Basics for the MAT85 system. When you first log into Menu Command, you'll see the dashboard screen showing the details of what items you've got on your system already. On this system, we've got nothing so far, so they're all showing zeros. If we go to the side menu on the left, you can see various functions of the system. Today, I'm going to show you how to add new items to your menu. You can see the categories and items menus on the side under menu data. If we pick categories first, at the moment I've got no categories on there so I need to add one. To do that press add new record and type in a name of your category. For this purpose I'm going to type pizzas. Then save changes. You've got the green tick and success which is good. We now need to add an icon and an icon colour for the tablet. To do that Press the edit icon on the far right and then on the colour click the drop down arrow, pick a colour from the bottom bar and then a shade from the top box and then click apply. Next we'll click the category icon drop down and pick from one of the examples. I'll use miscellaneous. Next click update. And that's saved your category with the icon and the colour that you've chosen. Next we need to add an item to your menu. You can either access that from the bar on the top or from the side menu under categories. Now on the far right hand side there's a menu button. If we click that and we'll choose add new item. Now we'll fill the first item name in. Ham and mushroom for our pizza. And then click under assign category, the drop down, and pick the pieces category that we just created. Under that, we'll select layout. This picks our design of label that we've added to our system already. And next, we can click upload picture and pick a photo of the item that we've got saved on our computer and add that to the item. Under that, we've got the status. If we disable that, the item will stay on our menu command system but won't show on the tablet. But we want it to show, so we're going to click Enable. Now that box is done, if we look at Shelf Life and Hold Time underneath that and click that, this is where we manage our use by dates. So under End Time Message there, if you click the drop down, and then we'll pick one of the options there, the Use By. In end time days, that's the amount of shelf life that you've got for the item. So we'll knock that up to three and that's that done. Next, we'll click on the ingredients and pricing information underneath that. Here we'll enter the price for the item. This will show on the label. And under that, we'll add the ingredients and the allergens. You can either type those in freely or copy and paste them from another source. Once you've added your ingredients to the system, underneath that you can click the nutritional information if you want to show that on your labels as well. But you do only need to type the ingredients and the allergens to be covered for Natasha's Law. Once you've done that, press save in the bottom right hand corner. You'll get the green tick of success. If you've missed a box at all, you'll get a red cross and it will tell you which box you've missed. Now, we'll get now we can see our items at the bottom of the, the menu. left hand side, the hammer recipe videos, pizza. and recipe All your items that you're added. If we click on recipe videos, list, we can add a new one and actually upload a video to YouTube and save the URL in the URL box here and give the video a name. It will then show under this menu item on the tablet once it's been saved. Likewise, you can click on the recipe instructions tab and add a recipe in there. This would be in text format. You can either type that in yourself or copy and paste it from a recipe website. Also, give, also it give it a name and save, and it, the save it again. This, this would also appear, appear under, under that item, item 
on the menu panel on, app, on, the, on the tablet. If you decide to add any of those, press the save button again and you'll get the green tick again to confirm. Now, your finished item is showing on the left hand side, the ham and mushroom pizza, and any other items that you would add will appear in that list with the newest one at the top. You can click in the search bar there and add in a word and it will search through that uh, item list and find that item for you. You can also click on the category section at the top and search by category. If you want to remove an item, you can click on the bin icon, or if you want to edit it to change it and save it again later, you can then click on the edit icon. This will open the item again. You change what you needed to change on the item, and then you press save again in the bottom corner. Now if we open the Menu Pilot app on the tablet and click the sync button, the two arrows in a circle, this will pull the information down from the cloud. So now if we click on pizzas, we'll have the ham and mushroom pizza and also a second pizza that I've added. If we click on the ham and mushroom pizza, it'll ask you to enter your initials and type them in. It will now show you a print preview of what your label is going to look like and how it's going to print. Batch printing. Batch printing is a feature that allows you to add multiple items into a batch and print them all at the same time. To access this, we go to the side menu on the left hand side and under menu data, we'll pick batches. Next, we'll give our batch a name. And then we'll click Add Items to Batch. This will show all the items on your system and you'll put a tick next to the ones that you want in the batch. Now press the plus icon on the right hand side. This will add those items to your batch. Under the count, where it says zero, that's how many of those labels it's going to print. So we'll change those to the desired count that you're going to print in that batch. This can be changed at a later time on Menu Pilot in the tablet. Once you're done, scroll down and press the Save button in the bottom right hand corner. Now if we look at the tablet and click on Batch Print, it will show us the batch we've just created, the evening pizzas, and if we click on it again, it will show the labels that are in there for those two items. We can now go ahead and print these, and it will print the amount that we've saved on menu command. Creating a new user. If you want to add another user to your system, it's quite easy. Go to the left hand menu and pick user details. Here you can see the user that you've been using to log in and also the RPS Daymark login that we use to amend your labels and other things. To add a new user you just need to click add new record. Here, we'll enter the email address of the person that you want to add as a user. Next, we'll fill in the company name. And then the name of the person at the top. Now we want to decide what permission we're going to give to this person. If you tick the top box in permissions, they'll have access to log into menu command on their computers 
and also MenuPilot on their tablets. Same as you. But if you just want them to have access to the tablet app, just tick the bottom box. For this purpose, we want to create an admin user like yourself, so we'll tick the top box. And also we want to send the email and leave that as enabled, which will send that user an email and ask them to set their own password. Once done, click create. The user is now saved and added to the system. They can now log on on their devices.